store. So we're going to go ahead and open up store.php. And the store is an exact copy of used item except for a couple of words changed. If, if you go to used item, let's go back over here, it's almost an exact same copy. So I'm not even going to go through this top stuff. You know what it is. Uh, everything's the same except for on the while loop. I've actually changed it from saying select all from inventory to select all from store where amount is greater than zero. The reason why I did the greater than zero is because we're going to add in later to where people can if people can buy things and sell things and we want a dynamic store. We want a store that says you know that has a certain amount of inventory depending on who sells to it depending on what you add to it or if you want an item to be removed from the store but you don't want to delete it you can just set its amount to zero and it won't show up. Same thing as before almost exactly. If you notice even the tables the same except for we changed I changed the price you know because you're not gonna have a price in your inventory. Other than that it's almost exactly the same and you, you can just go through it yourself and see the changes but there isn't really a whole lot of changes. The one thing different is now whenever we go to buy item we're going to go to buy item.php. So let's let's shoot over there. Everything from here down is the same, of course. We're getting our our randed. We're uh, getting our player session. The <coughs> here's where it starts out new. We're doing a query. Select all from store. We're randed equals randed. That's also so they can't. If say you have a say you decide to set your store where a certain level can only buy certain items. If you were to set it by name, then they could just go in and type the name in, your, in the top of your URL and be able to, to, to buy anything they want. The randed, they're not going to be able to figure out that randed, so it's, uh, it, it's as long as you keep your randeds changed every now and then. Uh, then we have, we're, once, it's, once it actually gets the, selects the item from the store, then we're going to set these variables just to make it easier on us. The name equals the name, stats equals stats. Here's where the new randed comes in and I do want to add a couple more randeds in here to keep things refreshed all the time and keep players from being able to hack anything. But currently we're just going to do this one. Randed2 equals random and this is a random number from a thousand to that big old number right there and you can see that's 999 million blah 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 blah. Then we're going to go ahead and take the item from the store and insert into the inventory. So item bot equals insert into inventory, ID, name, blah, 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 and then your values. And all we're doing here is ID equals your player ID, name equals the name of the item which was found up here, stats, stat add, and, and so forth. And you can kind of figure that out as we go. So that's all we're doing. You're not having to put insert in inventory where player equals whatever because all you're doing is you're making the ID the player ID. And then we just want to do let the player know that they did purchase, the purchase was successful, and then we want to link them back to battle.php. The one thing I didn't do is make it minus from the store. I'm, we're, we're not going to do that yet because it would be too much hassle to keep having to add things in the store and minus it. For now, we're just going to let it be infinite items in the store while we, while we test this play. And the last thing we want to do is when new players join we want them to have a max HP so in your red user open up red user dot PHP down here on your where it says insert into players at the very end add a max HP and then on the values add whatever you want it to be when we do classes or professions or whatever we want to call them we're gonna go ahead and make that a variable depending on what class you want but for now just make it 30 20 whatever you want and that way when a new player joins he's got his max hit points and he's got the H points too. Save that and I believe that's just about it. Let me double check. So I've, I did I actually did this this last night and it, it corrupted on me so I'm redoing it again. That's it. Um, we're going to we went through that. We killed them. We got our experience. The, another thing I didn't add was actual um, gold. We we want of course we want to be able to to spend the gold to buy things. We're not doing that right now. I didn't put that in. We will add that later. First thing we have to do is add loot to our uh, our kills and then add gold to the player. And we're probably going to do that within the next tutorial. I did notice some graphics up on the the, la the website lately. We're going to do that probably next to get this thing looking a little better. Get the graphics up there and, and, and 
most people know how to do graphics, so I probably I'm not going to spend very much time on actually making the graphics. I'll probably spend more time on actually putting the graphics on the web page. But that's the end of the tour. If you guys have any problems, go to indieresource.com to the forums and ask them there. And just as a heads up, we are a small community that uh, we're a fun community. And don't forget when you do come there to go ahead and hang out and make some posts and everything and, and help keep us going because that's what does keep us going. All these things are free. All our tutorials are free. And that's how we keep going is just having players stop by and say, hey, saying, hey.